Hello everyone, this is a presentation video about our paper Graph Contrastive Learning with Kernel Dependence Maximization for Social Recommendation. Social Recommendation aims to leverage social relationships to predict future user item interactions. Contrastive learning has catalyzed a productive avenue of research for recommendation. The efficacy of most contrastive learning methods for recommendation may hinge on their capacity to learn representation uniformity by mapping the date onto a hypersphere. Nonetheless, applying contrastive learning to downstream recommendation texts remains challenging, as existing contrastive learning methods encounter difficulties in capturing the nonlinear dependence of representations in high dimensional space and struggle to learn hierarchical social dependency among users, which are essential points for modeling user preferences. Inspired by the Herbert Smith Independence Criterion, HSIC will propose a graph contrastive learning model with kernel dependence maximization for social recommendation to address these challenges. We learn the nonlinear dependence in Hilbert space for wrapped and generalizable recommendation. Specifically, we design noise perturbations with Gumbel distribution to generate symmetrically consistent and variable augmented representations. And then with the kernel dependence maximization of the augmented representations by adding HSIC to the graph contrastive learning. To capture hierarchical social dependency, we propose a hierarchical mutual information maximization approach that maximizes mutual information from the user level to the community level and from the community level to the global level, thereby preserving the underlying structure. Finally, we design community-guided social graph reconstruction to further enhance user embeddings. Extensive experiments are conducted for model evaluation. Our proposed model consistently attains superior performance over all baselines. In addition, we perform extensive experiments including evaluation study, robustness test, hyperparameter investigation, embedding visualization analysis, and efficiency study to demonstrate the effectiveness of our model. That's all. Thanks for listening.